Hello, this is going to be a status update of one of the longer term projects that I'm working on. And I have some security cameras. One of them is pointing mostly south and mostly 45 degrees. When I had set it up, I mentioned this already in one of the other videos why I did. It was mainly to track the sun, but I was pleasantly surprised when I found out that it also is able to capture the stars. That got me thinking about a few other things that I could do with the cameras and to see what kind of other projects I could come up with. And one of the things that I thought I would try to do would be to correct for barrel distortion and to see if I could calculate the camera's orientation. So is this 180 degrees azimuth or is this over here 180 degrees azimuth? And then same thing vertically. So is this 45 degrees or is this 45? And then of course there's also how it's rotated this way. So there's several unknowns and I'm trying to figure out all of these unknowns simultaneously. The way I approached this was to say, well, I know where the sun is and its center, I went and found where most of these kind of radiate and sort of X marks the spot, so right about there. I got the X and the Y coordinates on the image, and then I went and found another photo where there was this particular star at the same or very similar X and Y location. And from there, I could then correlate the sun and the star. So one thing that I did was I went and found the NOAA Solar Calculations spreadsheet where you enter your location, your time zone, and the date, and it, for 24 hours it will calculate the altitude and the azimuth. So I ended up just taking this spreadsheet and then using the equations that they had and drop it into a new spreadsheet that I had created and in this tab, it tracks the sun. So you enter your, your geo coordinates, same thing, same thing. And for a particular time of the day, it will generate one elevation and one azimuth. But how could I figure out which stars which? So the next thing that I did was I found a text document that has the right ascension and the declination for a number of stars. Now this is nice and useful and all, but I need to be able to figure out where it is for a particular time of day. Initially, I tried to do it on my own, but then I kind of gave up on that and I found the various equations. And the main thing that you need to do is calculate the Greenwich apparent side real time. I think that's what this is. And from there, you can then use it to calculate the local hour angle for that particular star. And then once you have the local hour angle, you can then use your latitude, longitude, time zone to calculate what the altitude and the azimuth for that star should be. So this tab allows you to enter in your location a particular time. And then what I also did was given an altitude and an azimuth of interest, it will also highlight through conditional formatting rules, the stars that are the closest to this within a particular range. So here I have a number of candidates. So at this point, I have formulas to calculate the location of the sun, formulas to calculate the position of the stars, and I also have a camera taking pictures every minute, and I can measure the x and the y coordinates of the star for that particular period of time. So the trick is now to correlate calculated positions with observed positions and then to apply a new transformation matrix so that the two can correlate with each other. And then once I have that transformation matrix, then I can point anywhere in the image 
and be able to turn that back into an altitude in azimuth. And then once I have the altitude in azimuth, then if I also have my latitude, my longitude, and the time of the day, I should be able to then turn it back into a celestial coordinate system. So that would be kind of the, the main goal. And in so doing, we'll also figure out the barrel distortion. And I've had a few attempts at it. Here's one where I've got a particular star sweep. So here I enter the star of interest and a starting point. And it tries to figure out the X and the Y coordinates as if it was taken from a camera with this particular resolution. And that wasn't quite overly useful. Then I have another spreadsheet which I had created initially to try to figure out barrel distortion along with a few other things. And this is reasonably close in some areas. I think I've got a few problems. I think I just noticed a few problems over here. It might be due to me shuffling and shifting these columns around. But I've tried a few different ways and I think that progress is being stonewalled by something I quite can't visualize at this point. So now I'm looking to shift towards a slightly different approach and I think that I'm going to have to take the big guns out now. And being a software developer by trade, I think that I'm going to have to develop an application that will essentially take these form this formula for the sun, this formula for the stars, this data for the stars, and attempt to compensate for each of those factors that I mentioned earlier. Once I've got all of these individual formulas uh, working properly, then I can pipeline the calculations and then create an overlay that circles where it thinks the star should be so that I could then load any particular image that I want from the camera and have it hopefully be able to say that's where that star is, that's where that star is, that's where that star is, so on and so forth, and have it accurately located in the image. So that would be probably the ultimate goal. And uh, that's basically where I am at this point. This will keep me going for quite some time. As a side note, probably in the last week or two, this has given me an idea for a new project, which kind of comes back to this approach, which is assuming you do not have an application that can show you where all the stars are and then you let you just hit the little dot on the screen and then it'll tell you that it's Altair instead of something like that. What I'm looking to do is to create kind of like a very crude theodolite strictly designed to calculate the azimuth and the altitude and then from there you could then use this to load it in a spreadsheet and let it match which stars it's supposed to be. And if you don't have a spreadsheet, I'm even thinking of trying to figure out a way of creating a chart of some kind or maybe a, a couple of different charts that will generate this and if you have to crunch all the numbers manually yourself, the idea would be that you could do this without the aid of a computer at all. So there's a couple of different things that I've got that have come of this. Just thought I would share those ideas with you. And if you made it this far, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe, all that stuff that YouTube is asking us to do for them nowadays. And I will hopefully see you again in another video soon enough. So bye for now.